Utes have prioritized a youthful, offensive-minded coach in its search for Dana Dimmel's replacement. And in hiring 34-year-old Austin P. head coach Scotty Walden, the Miners have done just that with a coach that won two conference titles with the Governors. Walden will bring his up-tempo offense and energetic coaching style to El Paso to try to turn the Miners program around. The Texas native has already been a successful head coach at two different levels. He had led Austin P. to a 26-14 record over the last four years, including back-to-back -back winning seasons and a trip to the FCS playoffs this season. Walden's team averaged over 425 yards and 34 points per game at Austin P this year using an up-tempo offense. In a statement, Walden said, we are going to bring a brand of football to UTEP that is fearless, fast, and physical. We have the greatest stadium and group of five football in the Sun Bowl, and we look forward to having you there to make it the best environment in college football. End quote. Now, Walden played quarterback at Sol Ross down in Alpine in 2011, then was the offensive coordinator in 2012, so he knows the region. He actually designed his own playbook from scratch that year at Sol Ross with the idea just to go as fast as possible. From there, he went to East Texas Baptist and was the head coach in 2016, then an assistant and interim head coach at Southern Miss before spending the last four years at Austin P. Now, Walden is highly respected around college football as an up and coming head coach. To find out why, KTSM 9 Sports reporter Sam Guzman caught up with college football experts as well as some El Paso football stars that know Walden's coaching style well. On Monday, UTEP announced the hiring of Scotty Walden as its new football head coach. Walden has been the head coach at Austin P since 2020 and will now come to El Paso, bringing an innovative and energetic coaching style UTEP has been looking for. After an underwhelming 3-9 season under former head coach Dana Dimmel, UTEP now turns to Scotty Walden to help the program bounce back. Come back to me, come back to the ball. I think that this is a coach in Scotty Walden who understands in a unique way what he's getting himself into. And at a place like UTEP, sometimes that can be half the battle. On paper, UTEP hit the nail on the head when it comes to locking down an innovative head coach on the offensive side of the ball. Walden led Austin P to scoring 34.4 points per game, which was the ninth best scoring offense in the nation at the FCS level in 2023. He also is a really innovative offensive coach. Uh, he goes fast. He has a lot of factors that are kind of his own. He also has integrated some of the old, maybe a uh, veer and shoot style stuff that Baylor used to do. They run a lot of tempo. Along with the hope of Walden turning around one of the worst scoring offenses at the FBS level, there is also a hope the 34 year old leader can inject a new energy into to the UTEP football program, and I literally mean energy. If energy from the head coach is what would win the game, it's game over. That guy, you can tell, like you can hear him right when you enter the field. He's He brings a ton of juice and he brings a ton of energy, and I think he's a great fit for UTEP for sure. Whether you're a player on the opposite sideline or a player Walden's trying to recruit, it's an energy hard to go unnoticed. First, I was lucky enough to get recruited by like, Scotty Walden. Like, you know, in all the conversations we've had and all the visits we've had, is that uh, he's a great guy on and off the field. I love the fact that they went young and innovative. And I think that just the energy he's going to bring uh, on the recruiting trail, but also in the community, is going to be huge. Walden is set to be introduced as the 27th head coach in UTEP football history on Wednesday. For now, reporting from the Sun Bowl, Sam Guzman, KTSM Night Sports.